The thing I love most about travel is the serendipity of pretty much every single day. You know, just if you go to a place like India or Africa or even, you know, parts of London, you can wander into a place and not know what's going to happen and just let life wash over you. And I think um, the best travellers are those who are kind of zen with that, who kind of are open to the experience and let the the rat race, the outside world, the planning of the world that we live in kind of wash away and, and you just take on whatever comes your way and that's, that's the most special thing about travel. I think my earliest memories are leafing through my mum and dad's sort of photography books, you know, um, and it was kind of things like Peter Beard and um, and uh, you know famous wildlife photographers like Franz Lanting, um, and and I had access to that early on. I also had access to um, the wildlife that one would you know want to photograph. Um, and I think just through picking up cameras and kind of seeing how prints work and, and the joy of, of receiving a print back, which I think we lose quite a lot these days, um, that just drove me into picking up more and more cameras and, and getting, understand, uh, getting to understand lenses and um, it just it went from there. I think um, Pakistan for me is, is the ultimate travel country, you know, because it, it challenges so many perceptions um, and, and, and completely kind of opens one's eyes to how beautiful a country could be, how beautiful a, a people can be. And, um, you know, I think I was fortunate enough to be uh, filming from helicopters around the tallest mountains in the world, K2 and uh, Nanga Parbat and, uh, and the Trango Towers. So yeah, nothing, nothing's topped, you know, northern Pakistan for me. I mean, the only other place that I would highly recommend from a travel point of view is, is Ethiopia. I mean, Ethiopia has it all. It has mountains, it has desert, it has culture, it has, you know, fantastic wildlife and, and just extraordinary, extraordinary people. I've never been to Tibet and uh, I would love to work and, and travel around Tibet. I think um, there's something really magical about, you know, from what I see about the light in the top, you know, on the roof of the world, in the rain shadow of the Himalayas, um, I, I would desperately love to spend time there, you know, and maybe try and find, there are very few animals, but there are those that are there, the Tibetan fox um, and Tibetan antelope, and you get snow leopards and wolves there as well. I would love to spend time trying to track those down and, and find them.